Begin by coming into your body. Pick a posture that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting on a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. To settle in to a comfortable posture. And as your body settles in, notice if you can feel that comfort, if you're able to connect to it in your body and allow yourself to enjoy it, to enjoy the comfort, even if it's small. For example, I can feel my legs and body supported by the ground my hands and my arms supported by my legs. And there's a kind of comfort in settling in, allowing my body to be supported by those surfaces pulled down by gravity. See if you can find anything like that in your body as you get comfortable. Feeling good in the body is an excellent basis for any meditation practice, but certainly for loving kindness and compassion practice. So really allow yourself to enjoy that comfort in the body. Now, scan your body to see if there's any muscular tension that's present for you. Perhaps in the face or the jaws, the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the hands, the feet. If you find tension or tightness anywhere in your body, gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to ease up. knowing that you don't have to be on guard right now. It's safe to relax. Those muscles may or may not be willing to relax at this time. You don't have to force them to do so. You can just invite them to relax and if they do, to really enjoy that. Relax your body. Very good. Now, if you'd like, if it feels good for you, you can invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. It's as if you've come to a place with your body, a place where you're comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. You wanna practice staying here in this place, staying comfortable and relaxed with a smile. And if any time you leave this place, if you become uncomfortable, 
or tight or your smile fades, you can return here. Re-establishing comfort. Re-establishing relaxation. Smiling once again. Allow yourself to enjoy being here for another moment. And without leaving this place, begin to prepare the mind for practice. Use your mind to reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for, whatever it is for you. And as you consider these things, say them to yourself in your mind. For example, I feel grateful for my friends, or I feel grateful for the food that I had to eat today. Or I feel grateful that I have a place to sleep or whatever it is for you. Reflect on these things in your mind and say them to yourselves. Practice connecting to a sense of gratitude. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind, the things that you're grateful for. And as you say these things to yourself, notice if your body responds, if you can feel that gratitude in your body. Feelings of gratitude may or may not arise for you. It's no problem if they don't. If they do, allow yourself to enjoy them. Use your mind to cultivate gratitude.
Very good. Now, consider someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Whoever that is for you. Someone real or imaginary. Or easy to love person or animal. Bring them to mind. In particular, visualize them being happy. Smiling or laughing or playing. Whatever it is that's appropriate for them and your relationship with them. See if you can visualize that in your mind. Them being happy. You're bringing this to mind to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing for them, genuinely wanting them to be happy. If it helps, you can use phrases in your mind as well. A phrase like, I love you, or I care about you, or I hope you're enjoying yourself or something specific to that person. Whether you use images or mental talk, the main idea is to cultivate this attitude of well-wishing in whatever way feels easiest for you. It doesn't really matter so much how you do it. The intention's the main thing. So for me, my easy to love animal is a dog. And I imagine her chewing a bone, just really satisfied eating that bone. So happy. See if you can be creative and playful with how you bring up a sense of love for your easy to love person or animal. As you do this, notice if there's any response in the body. Notice if you can feel that love. Feelings of love may or may not arise for you, but if they do, really enjoy them. All of these qualities are very wholesome forms of happiness. And if we allow ourselves to, they're very fulfilling. So enjoy them. Continue to cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal for another moment.
Allow this to be something that you bookmark, an experience of cultivating love that you can return to any time. Any time, anywhere, you can cultivate love for your easy-to-love person or animal. In particular, if at any time this meditation becomes difficult, just come right back here. No problems with that. And without pushing away any of the qualities of love that you may have cultivated, allow yourself to bring to mind someone that you know that's suffering, that's going through some kind of difficulty big or small, for example, someone who's sick, or someone who lost a job, or who had a death in the family, or had a relationship that's difficult or that's ending. Anyone that's struggling in any way, Bring to mind someone in your life that you know that's suffering. And use your mind to recall what you know about this person's situation, to review the facts as it were. intellectually to start. They have this health condition, or this just happened in their relationship. Or this is what's happening at their job or whatever it is for this person. Recall the facts in your mind. having gotten a sense of their situation intellectually. See if you can cultivate a felt sense of what it might be like to be this person. You can imagine being in their body, being in their situation, what that might look or feel like. Or if it helps, you can recall a time that you went through a similar situation yourself and recall what that felt like. So are both good strategies for this. See if you can cultivate a felt sense of what it might be like to be this person going through this particular challenge. See if you can feel that in your body. Use all of your skills, all of your power to imagine what it might be like to be this person. Develop a felt sense for that. Put yourself in their shoes.
Notice how that makes you feel. What the emotional impact of this exercise is. Perhaps it brings up grief, sorrow, hurt, fear, confusion, pain. If you notice any emotional impacts of this exercise, allow yourself to really feel that. Even though these feelings can be difficult, there's a kind of connection and a kind of love in this compassion. So if it feels safe, allow yourself to really feel those feelings. Of course, if it's difficult, you can always go back to cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal. Just keeping it simple. But if it feels fruitful, cultivate compassion. Noticing that others are suffering and feeling for them. As you connect to these feelings, see if you can cultivate an attitude of well-wishing, knowing that this person is suffering and wishing that it might be resolved, that they might find ease and safety, relief, and even happiness. Use the compassion as a basis for well-wishing. Again, allow yourself to feel the impact of these exercises on your body. Without pushing away any difficult feelings, allow yourself to feel them. In particular, see if it's possible to find any element of satisfaction or connection or love or even fulfillment in this compassion. How 
could it be? Compassion is a wholesome form of love, even if there's discomfort with the suffering of others. How could it be? Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you gain any insights? Did you face any challenges? Allow yourself to recall and to integrate any learnings that may have come. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.